everybody, this is Diana from So Very Crafty, and today we are here to make this terrific little pie carrier. Yes, that's what it is. I figure the holidays are just around the corner, and you could use something to carry your pies in to your fa friends and family, and this is a super simple beginner sewing project that anybody can make. You can see that your pie plate fits perfectly inside of this little project and we just put our handle through these D-rings and pull and carry it and we can leave it as a nice little gift while we're at our friends and family's home. That's our project today. It's a simple one and it's fun. It is so easy to do. It's gonna, we're gonna do this in a snap today. I hope you enjoy this kind of project. Um, it's a nice little gift project to make and something fun for the holidays. So if you do like this project, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Ding that bell for notifications so you get future So Very Crafty projects in your inbox every time we come up with a new project uh, for the blog. I try to do fun and interesting things here on the web, on the uh, YouTube channel. Um, I do take things from the blog, so there's a corresponding blog post that goes along with this project if you prefer to learn how to do these projects that way or use a combination of the two. Either way, this project is on the blog and it's now gonna be on the YouTube channel so you can learn both ways. So how do we do this? Well, let's get started. We are going to first cut out some fabrics and some insole bright. we are going to cut out two pieces of fabric. And today I just used the same fabric. In the prototype project, I used a lining fabric and an outer fabric. So, so it's up to you if you wanna use the same fabrics or two different fabrics, it doesn't really matter. Now for my project today, I've used Insole Bright. And Insole Bright is an insulated sort of um, batting that will keep heat and cold inside of your uh, whatever it is you're carrying. Now you could use standard quilt batting for this. Um, it's completely up to you. I thought that if you were bringing something warm or something very cold, that the Insole Bright would work a little bit better. So I chose to use Insole Bright today. So you're gonna cut a one, two pieces of fabric and one piece of Insole Bright or quilt batting that measure 18 inches by 18 inches. You're also going to cut two pieces of fabric and another piece of Insole Bright or quilt batting that measures three inches by 22 inches. The next thing you're going to need are two D-rings that are two inch D-rings. These are quite large because you're gonna want your handle to be able to fit snugly in these D-rings. So the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna set aside our square and we are going to work on our handle. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to start by placing our insole bright on our workstation. And it doesn't matter what side is up or down because it's just going to be sandwiched in the middle of our project. We're going to take one of our pieces of fabric and we are going to place it wrong sides down on top of our insole bright. 
we're going to take the other piece of fabric and we're going to place it right sides down on top of the other piece of fabric so that we have three layers of fabrics here, one insel bright and two of our cotton. I'm just using cotton fabric here. And I'm just going to put a couple of clips along here. And we are going to stitch all the way around our handle using a one quarter inch seam allowance. But we're going to leave an opening on one side of our handle so that we can turn it right sides out. So I'm gonna head over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch all the way around, leave an opening and come back and we're gonna turn this right sides out. Okay, so now we've stitched our strap all the way around and we've left this opening. I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to clip off these corners, not through the stitching. Although it probably really doesn't matter for this. And now I'm going to turn this right sides out. And you'll notice when I turn this right sides out that the insole bright ends up in the middle between the two layers of fabric. And I'm just going to use a poking tool to poke out my ends. And that's all there is to that. Now I'm going to fold down my fabrics where the opening is. And I'm just going to place a clip there. And I've left quite a large opening, so we're going to need a couple of clips. Just close that like that. And I'm going to run over to the sewing machine. And I'm just going to top stitch all the way around my handle here. And that's going to give it a nice finished look. And it's going to close up this opening where we had turned our strap right sides out. So let me just run over to the sewing machine and we're just going to put a top stitch all the way around and I'll come right back. Okay, so there is my strap and now it's time to move on to our next steps. We are going to take our 18 by 18 inch square 
and we are going to essentially do the same thing that we did with our strap. We're going to place our insole bright on the bottom. We're going to take one of our pieces and place it wrong sides down on top of our insole bright. But this time we are going to take our strap and place it in the corner. Now you will notice that it fits in one corner, but it doesn't stretch all the way to the other corner. And that's the way that it should be. So we are just going to take the one that fits in one corner and we're going to clip it. And you can use pins if you like. We're going to take the other piece of fabric and we are just going to place it right sides down on top of our fabric and our strap. And we're going to take this clip and clip all three of those layers together. And I'm just going to put a few clips on the top and one side for now. And I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch along the top where the strap is in the corner and along the side. Where, that's, where the strap is in the corner. We're only going to stitch two sides at this point, just along the top and along the side. Again, I'm just using a one quarter inch seam allowance, but um, you could use a three eighths inch if you want. I wouldn't use any larger than that. We're just gonna use the one quarter inch for now. And uh, once I have stitched there and there, we will come back and we will finish up this project. Okay, so I have now stitched along the top and the bottom, and I went back and I back stitched a few times along where the handle is so that it would be more sturdy. Now I'm going to reach in and pull down my handle so that it reaches to the other corner of my pie carrier and I'm going to place the other corner down and you'll see that it's a little wrinkly here up at the top and that's fine. We can just fold that down and I'm going to take some clips and just clip this. I'm going to head back over to the sewing machine and I am going to stitch along the side and the bottom, but I'm going to leave an opening in the bottom here so that I can turn this all right sides out. And once again, I am going to back stitch a few times here on the corner to make it nice and sturdy so that I don't lose my pie pan. Uh, when I'm transporting my pie. So let me head over to the sewing machine and stitch this up and we'll come right back. Okay, so now we have stitched up our square, but we have our opening. We're gonna reach in and we are going to turn this right sides out and I'm just pulling my strap because that seems to me to be the easiest thing to do, to pull this right sides out. For some reason, I never make these openings big enough 
to turn them right sides out. I managed to get there, but I probably could have made this one a little bit bigger. have our square with our strap in the middle I'm going to use my poking tool to poke out these corners And now the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to turn under our opening like we the same way we did for the strap. I'm going to put a couple of clips here. I'm going to top stitch all the way around, come back, and then we're going to add our D-rings and we'll be just about finished with this project. So there we have our strap, our square top stitched. Now we're going to add our D-rings. And the way we're going to do these D-rings is we're going to place them in the corner opposite from the strap. And we're just going to fold the corner down and I'm going to add a clip right there. I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. I'm going to run over to the sewing machine and I'm just going to stitch right along this, right across this edge on both of these, I'm going to back stitch a couple of times and we will be finished with this project. Okay, our D rings are on. We just push our strap through them and our pie carrier is finished. And that is all there is to this project. So, so simple. I didn't even show any sewing on this project because everything is a straight line. There is nothing out of the ordinary to making this project. Comes out perfect every time. So that's all there is for this project today. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a simple one, but very functional and fun to give as a gift to transport your pies in uh, for this holiday season. So I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Ding that bell for notifications. And if you want the, uh, the blog post for this or any other so very crafty tutorial that you don't see here on the YouTube channel, head over to the website at www.soverycrafty.com and you can find loads and loads of sewing 
and crafting tutorials. I have loads of Dollar Tree crafts and other crafts on So Very Crafty uh, that you won't see here on the YouTube channel, but are fun to, to make. Um, if you saw my YouTube live, you will have seen one of my uh, Dollar Tree crafts in progress, and it was a fun one. Um, so I hope you'll head over to the website, and I hope you'll make one of these fun little pie carriers because they are perfect for the season. That's it for today. I will see you all next time. Bye!